The Barrel Classic is less than 12 weeks away. I've got my eyes set on a top 100 finish. Do you think I can do it? The Barrel Classic is an annual Fondo event about two hours south of Sydney in Australia. It's a multi-distance event, but the real contenders are there for the 150 kilometer race, not a race. This will be my fourth time doing the event, having done it the 120 course twice, and my first time on the 150 course last year. This will be the first time I've set myself such an ambitious target, and it's probably gonna take a fair bit of consideration to work out how to get it done. Let's dive in. Well, I guess that's all well and good, but is this even possible? This year, the course is back to normal with the inclusion of the Gibraltar climb right at the finish, which was closed last year because of road conditions. As I said, I've completed the course three times. The first two times was the 120 kilometer course, and last year I did the 150 kilometer course. I finished in four hours and 30 minutes, which put me in 132nd place. This is around about 10 minutes off the pace of the person who came 100th last year. I think I can do this, but there are four things on my mind that will be necessary to lock this in. Those are pacing, setup, nutrition, and training. Probably the biggest consideration for this year has to be positioning and pacing. Last year, I was a little bit late to the starting line. And this meant that I was in one of the later waves to start the race. Starting in a later wave doesn't necessarily affect your time, but it does change the riders that you have around you. The faster riders tend to gravitate into the earlier waves, and the more waves that go before you, it means that you're giving the faster riders two, four, six, eight, even 10 minutes head start on you, which really what that means is you're never gonna see them again. So for me, it was a big day of passing people and a lot of time spent in the wind. Getting the starting line organized tends to be managed fairly well in things like marathons, where they have a qualifying times to get into different flights. The Peaks Challenge is a little bit similar. They have the different groups. You don't have to qualify for them, but you set your target and you join the appropriate group. The best that the Barrel Classic can offer is the Highlanders group. This pay to play group puts you at the start of the pack it's $50 on top of your entry fee and it puts you in a group of up to 100 riders. This is where you can expect to see the semi-pro races starting the day. So given that this group can contain up to 100 riders, the Highlanders are going to represent a real challenge for me in achieving a top 100 spot. I have not signed up for the Highlanders this year. I'm going to have to wrestle my way to the front for the first in best dressed wave 1 position. I just need to make sure that I can catch up to some of those that drop off the Highlanders pack. Starting in this earlier flight is really going to help me with my pacing. Hopefully this will mean I'll be able to get with a group where I don't have to do all of the work and I can push a manageable normalised power for the duration of the day. For whatever reason the audio didn't record in this clip, but the focus of what I'm covering here while I wash my bike is the setup that I'm gonna ride for the day. I really don't think I'm gonna make any changes specifically for the Barrel Classic. I'm happy running the 60 mil deep dish wheels. I'm happy with the Durace 52, 36 on the front and 10, 30 on the back. I'm gonna try and keep the frame as aero as possible, which means ideally no saddle or top bar bag. I will need somewhere to store a camera, but when you're as tall as me, getting aero is the most important thing. So nutrition is probably a really big factor. Uh, this year, if I'm gonna be going for this position, I'm gonna to need to not really stop. So this means I'm gonna to have to be carrying everything that I need for the race. I think I want to hit around about 80 grams of carbs per hour. So if we're talking about four and a half, five hours, it's probably having something along the lines of 360 grams or so of carbs. So I'm going to have two 750 ml bottles. Hopefully that's going to give me enough 
uh, hydration for the day. I'll have like 45 grams of carbs in these. Uh, I'm then gonna do some flow gel. Uh, so this is something new or different for me to try. I'm gonna have it in like a flask. Uh, that way I'm not messing around with gels and packets and trying to open them along the way. If I understand correctly, the Highlanders group, they do have one scheduled stop because uh, I mean, realistically, you probably are gonna want three liters of water, maybe four liters of water over the course of the race. Obviously I'll be carrying 1.5 liters, I'm probably gonna have to stop for water unless I intend on carrying an extra bottle in my jersey from the start. I'm gonna go for a bit of a longer program this time. The four weeks that I did for Peace was not necessarily ideal. I'm gonna go with the 12 week program. I'm choosing something from Training Peaks again, but I'm choosing a different coach. I'm going with a guy called Phil Mosley from My Pro Coach. No affiliate, but his programs seem quite well tailored to my needs. I'm going for a bit of a grand fondo plan. I'm choosing something that is an intermediate level. This means around about six to 12 hours, but I'm choosing a variation of his plan, which is for 40 plus, like myself, targeting people who are a little bit time poor, maybe have family commitments, work commitments, and can't quite get up to that 12 plus hours. So it brings the program down to more like six or eight hours a week. It does have a full base build, uh, peak and taper uh, section to the workout, but the real focus is strengthening my FTP. I feel like my, my threshold is at a good level at the moment. It's just really baking that in and making sure I can hold as close to it as possible for the fuel, full duration of the race. I'm hoping to do a decent chunk of the training outdoors, but there is gonna be a pretty big portion that's gonna be on my friend over here. What do you think? Am I kidding myself? Are you racing in the Barrel Classic this year? I'd love to hear from you. Have you raced in a previous Barrel Classic and placed in the top 100? What do you think about my plan? Do you think it's going to work? Do you think I should have tried to get into the Highlanders group? If you're in the main bunch and this sounds like the pace that you want to roll with, reach out, let me know. I'd love some riding partners for the day. I'll be doing another video shortly to break down what my training plan looks like. So if you're interested in that kind of detail, be sure to tune in. Thanks to all of you who've watched this video and subscribed to the channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Really helps the channel out and gets a little bit momentum on the videos. So hit that subscribe button before you finish today. Other than that, folks, until next time, see ya.